Today we're going to demonstrate a crucial yet often overlooked step in rebuilding your power steering hydraulic rack. These are transfer line ports. Now these ports are sharp and may have burrs that will ruin your seal when you go to press it through the rack housing down into position. This sharp edge right here cuts a groove in your new seal every time. That groove then creates a path for fluid to escape past the outside of your seal right here like this. This cutout section is from a steel rack housing. These have two 90 degree ports. You may need an extension for your hone to reach deep enough into the housing for that inner port. To over exaggerate our point here, we're going to drill 12 fresh holes. That'll leave the surface area way worse than anything you'll see inside your rack housing. Be sure to select the correct size, grit, and honing material best suited for your application. With this steel rack tube, our hone today is a 320 grit and it's made of silicone carbide. I would avoid using a stone hone here. They're not quite as user friendly and can get way too aggressive in a hurry. You could always snap bore measurements before and after. Just compare them to your seal's outer diameter. As long as the seal is slightly larger than your bore, that'll create a snug fit and you'll be good to go. Once you're done, your new surface will have cross hatches left behind. This is completely normal and will actually seal better than a glassy smooth finish. Now let's press this new NOK seal through that housing. You should use a seal installer, just make sure it's the right length to drive your seal to the bottom of your housing. If you haven't already, be sure to inspect your rack bar for rust pits and scratches. If any are present, you'll need to replace or refinish your rack bar. Just smoothing it out will not create a good seal, which will ruin your whole build. That's it. The hone did its job perfectly and now the rack is ready for reassembly. Keep this all in mind next time you're planning a quality job. Tear it down, hone it, clean it, and reassemble. If you're going to rebuild it, rebuild it right with TransTech. Thanks for watching.